Thank you, Nicole. Thank you to everyone who's here today. Thank you to Nigel for that incredible poem, which I don't, I don't really know how to follow that. Uh, I want to thank the Prime Minister of Grenada and the Cabinet for coming here today. I want to thank the next generation, the school children who are here today. And I'm so sorry about our painful shared past and for the role of our ancestors in it. And I just want to say how incredibly moved and horrified all of us have been by the exhibit at the back, which shows the names of the enslaved at the time that compensation was paid to our families. It's the names of the enslaved on those estates in which our family had shares. And to see the names and the ages and to think of the horror that those people endured in the not so distant past and to think of our role in it is shameful. And that is why we're here today. I want to thank Sir Hilary Beckles for his incredible leadership, for guiding our family through what has been a difficult process, for persuading people that it's important to stand up and be counted and to come here to Grenada and confront what our ancestors did to yours. I want to thank Nicole Philip Dow for answering my email in January of last year when with great trepidation I wrote to her and said, Nicole, I'd like to talk to you about my family's history as slave owners on Grenada. And I didn't know how Nicole would reply, but she replied and electronically she said, Laura, I have a smile on my face. And then I knew that it would be all right, that it was okay to take this leap of faith and that Nicole and Sir Hilary and Ali Gill, I want to thank everyone who has guided us through this. D.C. Campbell, the Grenadian historical novelist and his wife Susie. Edwin Frank, who drove us around the island and educated us on the history. To everyone who has been part of this journey, which is just beginning now to go forward, I just want to say this is a first step. We hope, as Sir Hilary said, this is the beginning of something. We can't begin to say that an apology is the end of the process. And we have no idea where this will lead. But I just want to say that I've been encouraged by the number of other British families in the British Caribbean, in Jamaica, for example, who have privately written to me and said, Laura, what your family has done is something that we have talked about doing for years, but we had no idea how to do it. We want to know what your roadmap was. Well, the roadmap began here in Grenada with Nicole Philip Dow, Arlie Gill, with Sir Hilary. And so, without further ado, I <laughs> Thank you all for your patience. I just want to say that this process began for us really when University College London published their legacies of British slave ownership. Until then, we didn't know that the Trevelyan family had these interests in Grenada, but when UCL put that database online, family members who are here today typed in the name Trevelyan into the database, the records of compensation paid to slave owners when slavery was abolished, and to their horror, People here today, family members, saw the name Trevelyan come up in relation to Grenada. And so John Dower and my uncle Humphrey, uh, both of whom are here today, were so horrified by this that they began to email family members and say, and John emailed me, who I'd, I've only, by the way, just met him last night on Grenada, because we're from different branches of the family. John emailed me and said, Laura, what do you think about this? And I said, I think it's too horrifying. I don't even know what I think. It's too difficult to even contemplate. So it sat there at the back of my mind until at George Floyd's death in the United States. And I'm an American citizen. I live in New York. And then I realized that I couldn't just file it away into the category of too difficult any longer. And so Nicole answered my email. I came here to make the BBC documentary, Grenada Confronting the Past. John Dower started convening family members on Zoom, so Hillary spoke to our family, and we have got to this point. So without further ado, I would like to invite my cousin John Dower to come up here so that we can read to you our letter of apology, which has been written by committee, and I know that when things are written by committee, perhaps <laughs> that doesn't always work, but I hope 
that this does work, and I want to pay tribute to my uncle Tom Trevelyan, who's a GP, who took hold of the letter and said, as a general practitioner, it's all about how you communicate with people. And so I want to now read this letter with John to you, and then we're going to invite family members up here to sign it in your presence, and we're going to give it to the Prime Minister of Grenada, and we hope that this is the beginning, not just for Grenada, but for the Caribbean, because of all that you have endured. <laughs> to the people of Grenada, we, the undersigned, write to apologize for the actions of our ancestors in holding your ancestors in slavery on estates which included Tempe, Simon, Requin, La Sagesse, Beausseju, Subise, Crochu, Grand Brun, St. Cloud, and Chantilly, part owned by Louisa Simond and Sir John Trevelyan, fourth baronet of Nettlecombe and Wallington, and later their children in the 18th and 19th centuries. Slavery was and is a crime against humanity. Its damaging effect continues to the present day. We repudiate our ancestors' involvement in it. We apologize to the surviving descendants of the enslaved on those estates for the continuing impact on their daily lives, their health, and their well-being. We are grateful to the Centre for the Studies of the Legacies of British Slavery at University College London for publishing the results of their research based on the records of financial compensation paid by the British government to British plantation owners. We urge the British government to enter into meaningful negotiations with the governments of the Caribbean in order to make appropriate reparations through CARICOM and bodies such as the Grenada National Reparations Commission. After consulting with the Grenada National Reparations Commission, Laura Trevelyan, which is me, is making a donation of £100,000 to establish an education fund at the University of the West Indies Open Campus here in Grenada. Details of that fund will be determined by the GNRC in collaboration with the UWI and the Government of Grenada. Other Trevelyan family members are donating money towards bursaries for the UWI Grenada Open Campus Initiative and supporting the Grenada Education and Development Program, GRENED. Family members also wish to offer their time to ongoing projects in Grenada. This letter has been signed by 104 of the descendants of the, of the part owners of these plantations, seven of whom are here with us, and I'm going to call them up to come and sign this letter in your presence.